Hello today's video we have the following content. In Rose Story, the Yu Yu Yin Wallace H U O compose a poignant elegy of love. Under the delicate brush strokes of Rose Story, the turbulent waves of love stir the heartstrings of every reader. Rose, that delicate flower, stood proudly in the wind and rain, and launched an unyielding contest with Fang Yuan, showing her steel-like tenacity and perseverance. However, the god of fate always seems to love playing tricks on people. Just when Fu Jiaoming bravely confessed to Wang Yimei online, it should have been the beginning of a sweet and romantic romance, but unexpectedly, this was the prelude to a tragedy quietly opened. When the critical illness notice came like a bolt from the blue, the whole world seemed to be still. At that moment, Wang Yimei's heart was broken like glass, and her pain was like a surging tide, ruthlessly drowning her. Fu Jiaoming, the person she loved deeply, actually left this world forever in the year when she loved him the most. The superb acting skills of Liu Yifu in Wallace Huo interpret this deep affection and pain so movingly. Their eyes reveal endless attachment and reluctance, and every subtle expression seems to tell of the inner struggle and pain, deeply touching the heartstrings of every audience. Love is sometimes like the rose in this story, beautiful and fragile, and may wither in an instant at the most splendid moment. However, it is this incompleteness and regret that makes us more deeply appreciate the preciousness and difficulty of love. Let us follow their footsteps and immerse ourselves in this unforgettable love story together, explore the true meaning of love in tears and touching moments, and learn to cherish and embrace every sincere emotion. Next news. Liu Yifri, 20 years ago, first appeared on the screen with brilliant brilliance. Liu Yifri, this name is like a star that never fades in the entertainment industry. Recently, her first show clip on Kuebin has once again aroused heated discussions among netizens 20 years ago, she debuted on the screen with youth and beauty. At that time, she was like the rising sun, shining brightly, illuminating the night sky of the entertainment industry. In that clip, every move and smile of Liu Yifri was full of charm. Her eyes were clear, as transparent as lake water, revealing her expectations and longings for the future. At that moment, we seem to have returned to the youthful years of boiling blood and overflowing passion. Netizens left messages in the comment area, sign at the magic of time. Some people said, Liu Yifri's beauty seems to make time flow back for her, and it is always fixed in that most beautiful moment. Others said, looking at her appearance back then, it seems that I have returned to that youthful age. Liu Yifri's first show on Kuebin not only reminds us of that innocent era, but also allows us to see her difficulties and persistence along the way. Today, she has become a shining star in the Chinese film and television industry, but her original intention and persistence have never changed. Let us look forward to her more wonderful performances in the future, because Liu Yifei will always be the girl who makes our hearts beat. Next news. The story of Rose, the best acting actor's ranking, Liu Yifei is only seventh, Lan Yingyin is third. CCTV's The Story of Rose became a hit as soon as it was broadcast. As a highly anticipated urban drama, the drama tells the story of Wang Yumi, played by Liu Yifri, who comes from a scholarly family, and her choices and attitudes towards love at various stages of her life, thus conveying the theme of love yourself to the audience. Although the setting seems cliché, it won the first place in the national ratings on its first broadcast, and the ratings even broke 1.9 all the way. Liu Yifri's national popularity is indeed not to be underestimated. Moreover, the drama has a fast pace and rich content. It is really a feast for the eyes to watch the actors with both good looks and strength in the drama perform on the same stage. The following is the ranking of the best acting actors in my mind in the first four episodes. Let's take a look and see if it is exactly the same as the list in your mind. First place, Hao Chang Grong, played Wang Jianzi. This national first-class actor has a strong control over the role. In the story of Rose, Hao Chang Grong plays Wang Yimei's father, a highly educated professor at Tsinghua University. When she appeared on stage, she wore glasses and a shirt of an old cadre. A glance back showed the book a share of an intellectual. When delivering food to Wang Yumi, who was hiding in school and refused to go home, Wang's father smiled as he looked at his daughter who was heating with big mouthfuls. Even the wrinkles at the corners of his eyes revealed his deep fatherly love. He looked at her lovingly, and the image of an old father stood out. Watching old actors act is reassuring. Without making any noise, they brought the characters to life. There was no sense of disobedience in their performances in the play. Second place, Wu Yu Fang, playing Wu Yu Jiang. The strength of this actor who won the Hundred Flowers Award at the age of 21 should not be underestimated. In the play, 
Wu Yufang plays Wang Yimei's mother, who is also a professor at Tsinghua University. She does not have such a strong bookish air, but you can tell at a glance that this character is definitely an intellectual. When she learned that Wang Yimei might interfere in other people's feelings, Wang's mother was furious and scolded her daughter. Her expression was ferocious, and she hated her for not being able to make it. The fierce light in her eyes looked quite scary. When Wang's Hanhua, played by Tong Dui, helped Wang Yimei to speak, Wang's mother turned around and scolded him as well. This indiscriminate attack was so real that it felt like being taught a lesson by my own mother across the screen. It was so immersive. Especially when Wang Yimei started to talk nonsense, Wang's mother slapped her. Not only was Wang Yimei stunned, but I was also dumbfounded. But looking at Wang's mother's face full of pain in the picture, it really makes people unable to blame her. The role of Wang's mother is not easy to play. If you use too much force, people will feel suffocated, and if you use too little force, people will feel bluffing. Wu Yufang's strength is just right, not stealing the show, but also can't be ignored. Third place, Lan Yingyin, playing Guan Zhuzhu. Lan Yingyin plays Guan Zhuzhu in the play. The scene where Guan Zhuzhu was broken off by a scumbag and drank to relieve her sorrow was too immersive. When she called home to inform them that the wedding was cancelled, Guan Zhuzhu was so sad that she was heartbroken. Her eyes were filled with indifference and sadness. She looked forward and let go of her emotions. In this scene, Lan Yingyin did not cry in an exaggerated way, but instead seemed to be expressing her true feelings, which made people feel pity. Later, when she saw the true nature of the scumbag and bent down to smile at him, Guan Zhuzhu exuded a kind of free and unrestrained brilliance. When she said, it's better to waste seven years to get to know someone than to waste a lifetime, I think this character was truly liberated. There was no trace of acting on Lan Yingyin's body. Whether it was the happy smile when registering for marriage, the sad cry when the scumbag regretted the marriage, or the relief when she untied the knot and said goodbye to the scumbag, every emotional control was just right. Fourth place, Wu Bi, as Zhou Shihu. Wu Bi's Zhou Shihu is so annoying. If we were to list the most annoying characters in the story of Roses, he would definitely be at the top of the list. In addition to the fact that his character is not likable, it is more due to Wu Bi's superb acting skills. When Wang's Hanhu learned that Zhou Shihu had fallen in love with someone else and liked his sister, he couldn't help but beat and kick Zhou Shihu and scolded him. Under such pressure, Zhou Shihu still told Wang's Hanhu as seriously that he really loved Wang Yimi. His focused expression and sincere eyes made people want to rush into the screen and punch him a few more times. When Zhou Shihu took the yellow rose to Wang Yimi's school and confessed to her affectionately, asking her not to worry and that he would solve Guan Zhuzhu, his face was full of scumbags that were unbearable. Wubi's acting is so natural that even now when you see his face, you want to spit a toad wanting to eat swan meat. Fifth place, Wang Jin, playing Su Zhengsheng. Wang Jin Su Zhengsheng is so exquisite. It's not that she is so beautiful in appearance, but her temperament is so consistent with the image of an elite woman, and her eyes are very dramatic, with a deep sense of story. Su Zhengsheng was awakened by a nightmare in his sleep, and he was so frightened that he hiccuped and trembled all over. He was afraid of surviving a disaster, and the fear in his eyes did not fade, which doubled the sense of reality. Wang Jin grasped a role, without relying on exaggerated expressions and movements, and the subtle changes in her expression could reveal the inner drama of the character. Her acting skills are so brilliant. Sixth place, Tong Dui, playing Wang's Hanhua. Most of Tong Dui's works in recent years are urban dramas. He is good at playing male husbands and has a strong sense of being a husband. This temperament is not inconsistent in the story of Roses, and it just plays the sister control attribute of Wang's Hanhua. When Wang Zhihu asked Zhou Shihu who was obsessed with his eyes and regretted marriage, when the other person looked at himself, Wang Zhenhu panicked. Wang Zhenhu knew that he had lost his own knowledge and continued to explain to the other party that he had nothing to do with his sister and Zhou Shihu. His expression was eager, his expression was full of anxiety, and he was afraid that the other party could not think of it. Wang Yimri, played by Yi Fei, is so beautiful that she is so beautiful that she almost ignores her acting skills. When Wang Yimei was accused by her mother of interfering in other people's feelings and not keeping a distance from the opposite sex, she felt extremely wronged and looked up to complain to her mother why she always didn't believe in herself. On a pretty little face, her eyes were bright with tears, her expression was sad, and her brows were slightly wrinkled, which made people feel pity. When she mentioned her secret crush to her brother, Wang Yimei's face was filled with a sweet smile, her eyes were bright and sweet as honey, and her mind seemed to recall the face of her secret crush and her whole body was emitting pink bubbles. 
But Liu Yifei plays such a charming role, the director is really good at vision, and the 36-year-old Liu Yifei plays a 22-year-old female college student without any sense of disobedience, worthy of being a beautiful woman with both beauty and strength. 8th place, Zhu Zhu, as Zhang Zuqiang. Zhu Zhu's female boss Zhang Zuqiang in the play is really too imposing. Facing the subordinates who are not doing their job well, Zhang Zuqiang had a serious expression and her eyes were full of severity. The word get out made me feel like I was being scolded. The sense of substitution was too strong. When talking happily with her partners, Zhang Zuqiang raised her glass, smiled elegantly and calmly, and had the aura of planning and strategizing. She was definitely a career-oriented strong woman. Zhu Zhu is also a beautiful woman with both beauty and strength. It is really worth watching to have her as the leader of the heroine in the play. Conclusion For the audience, the play The Story of Roses is not only a feast of beauty, but also a showdown of acting skills. Several powerful actors in the play acted on the same stage, testing, confrontation, and the sharpness in the workplace and the extreme pull in emotions. It was simply too exciting. The play is still being updated, and new characters will appear in the future. Let's wait and see. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,